Okay, good morning. We have a MacBook today with a shorted out keyboard. entire keyboard I don't know somewhere uh, the customer got spilled uh, water on it and then the keyboard got shorted out and after that nothing happens when I press the power button it doesn't turn on but actually when I removed the keyboard when I disconnected the keyboard from the logic board actually it did turn on now we know that the keyboards got shorted out so let's replace the keyboard this MacBook model is a 1369 and I believe it's a MacBook Air anyways we are going to uh, disassemble this A1369 MacBook Air you have a uh, 10 screws to remove 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 total and let's get them out Okay, all the screws out. It is now so easy to take off this bottom cover. Just grab here and pull it out. There you go. Then we have a logic board, your SSD, storage device, cooling fan, heat sink. Uh, I believe it's a LCD cable and a battery. Always disconnect the battery first like that to get the battery out you need to remove one two three four five screws in total Okay, all the screws out. Now I will be able to take off this battery, no problems. Okay, the battery out. And then we have access to the, uh, the mouse pad of your MacBook Air. We have some cables connected. Looks like this one is the uh, cable from the keyboard. And this one goes to the logic board. We better disconnect these cables now. I'm going to use a small a thin plastic tool I don't know if you can see those small connectors but you also need to remove cables from this one and this one and we have to unscrew all the small screws from the logic board to take it off let me close up to show you the details of the logic board and screws. Disconnected these two cables from the logic board. You need to pull up, pull up a small plastic tab with a thin uh, plastic prying tool and then you can disconnect the cable like this. I did disconnect the antenna. Now uh, we can just disconnect this one. And there are some small cables that we need to disconnect. I can just use my hand to disconnect this one. And this one you just pull up from the bottom and this disconnects it. Uh, this one actually broke. The whole connector just came off when I tried to Pry up this cable. I don't know what it does, but if anyone knows what this cable does, please leave a comment and let me know because I don't know what it does. But actually, the laptop, the MacBook works without this cable attached. Okay, we disconnect this cable. Uh, we better take up the fan first because we have no space to work on. Here's one more cable. There's one screw. Here is one more. And then, oh, here, I got one more right here in the bottom. 
after removing these three screws, I believe I'm able to take off the fan. All right, fan is off. Now we can disconnect this. cable just like this on this side we have one more cable to disconnect carefully pry up the cable like that and then the LCD cable pry up the metal lock that's it and then pull that way okay Cables disconnected. Now we have many screws to remove. One, two, three, four, five, I believe, five screws. Let's get them out and see if we can take off the motherboard. And then I'll try again. Here's one more screw right there we need to remove that too so it's not total of five screws to remove from the logic board it's six i think the ssd was hiding the screw right there see we don't see the screw right there when we remove it we see it now so you must remove ssd in order for you to remove the logic board and now we need to remove four screws from the processor heatsink you know what I'll just remove the power board from the MacBook Air too just remove one screw from here and we can take it off Take it off like this, like this. Okay, the logic board is off from the MacBook Air. Good. I think they're just glued. Yeah, they are just glued on the frame. So all you need to do is you can pry up. Same for this side too. speaker unit is off okay now we need to remove the backlight from the frame this black thing is the backlight but before we do that we better get we better take off this heatsink there's a small screw in the corner right here and it comes off really easy Okay, I'll start from here. Let me take off the uh, like glued tape or, or plastic, whatever. I'll take off like this. LED strip should come right off. You might need uh, you might need to buy a uh, new LED strips because it it looks like it'll damage well the removal process. But I'll just go ahead and do it anyways. I need to replace the keyboard. The backlight doesn't cost that much. It only costs you about $20 to get a new backlight set. So don't worry. You can get them really cheap. it away let's take off the tape and we have a lot of screws to remove 
Do you see these small black screws? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there are 39 or 40 screws to take off. Okay, I have removed all the screws from the keyboard panel. Now, there is a problem. Do you see all these rebats? Those are metal rebats and we cannot take it off using our screwdriver. The only way is to just take off by force. Okay, so I'll try to remove the keyboard with my all of my force and good luck. Just like this. Do you see those pieces of our rebats and metal pieces? That comes off. They are normal. Let's keep it going. Okay, keyboard is off. Now make sure you clean everything. Those metal pieces. And this one is garbage now. Go this way. Place it. And it is now time to put all the screws back, the 40 screws. Okay, the MacBook turns on. Before, because of our shorted out keyboard, I was not even able to turn it on. But now it's turning on. And make sure all the keys are working after replacing the keyboard. That's how to replace keyboard on a MacBook Air A1369. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Bye-bye.